Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rob with Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2019 Kenworth T680. It features a Packard MX-13 at 455 horsepower with a 13-speed manual. It has 355 rear axle ratio, 12 and 40 axles, and it's got a carrier APU as well as 10 new tires. So let me take you through this truck. I'll show you all the nice features of it. It's quite a nice truck. It is very unique. Uh, there are a lot of nice features about it, and it's kind of different than a lot of the other trucks that you're going to see out there. So let me get started on it. Have a look here. You see it's got the X-Guard deer bumper on the front. This is a nice feature in that it protects, obviously, the front end from animals on the highway, and it's very easy to open and close. Some of the other full-size moose bumpers are very hard to get up and down. This one here, I've already unloaded the first one over there, but if you look, you just literally just pull that little bracket out and lean it forward. Just gotta get, hang on, I'll show, show it to you this way. It's not really a one-handed deal. There, so pull that. Oh, it's caught on the other side. My apologies, it's not locked, but, oh, oh, I make, I make a liar out of myself. Maybe it's not as easy as what I thought. Well, there we go. So definitely not hard to do. Um, let me just show you that again. So this little uh, arm is gonna come up, catch on that bracket, and you lock it by sticking it around that stud sticking out there. Uh, we've got collision mitigation. Bendex Wingman Blind Spotter. That is a forward collision detection sensor that will detect objects in front of the path of the vehicle. It is going to beep at you and apply the brakes as needed. You've also got the blind spotter there, so it'll beep at you if you put your right turn signal on and there's something in the path of that because obviously it's, it's hard to see. Nice pure white, Arctic white, snow white, whatever you want to call it. We've got chrome, uh, chrome, Spot mirrors on here. We got painted rear view mirrors, and then we've got visor lights up here. We've got quadruple bunk access doors, which is nice. So you've got room inside of here for there's your APU unit, uh, the interior component of it. That'll be your um, evaporator and heater. Okay. And then we've got an upper bunk access door as well that you can throw gear into the upper section. Over here we've got a partial chassis skirt comes down to the end. Obviously the new style Kenworth 680 side extenders have a little bit of a different shape to them. Uh, this is nice insofar that you actually have the ability to go in here and A, get at your fuel tank. Because some of the ones with the full skirts I'm not crazy about on the Kenworth, so it's hard to get at this tank. This one is easy to get out. I'm literally standing right beside it. 120 gallons. You've got a step up here to go on the back of cab. So that's great. Your condenser unit for your APU is right there. We've got brand new Virgin tires, 11R22 fives. We've got, looks like a recently rebuilt fifth wheel. It's a Holland 3500 with about a foot of movement forward to back. It's currently set right at the middle of the drives. Have a look here, we got nice chrome mud flap hangers. We've sandblasted and painted this chassis, so it looks like new, but it's not, but it looks like new. Reversal arm over here, you can have a look. Our painter does a really good job. He's quite a bit of a ways away, he's about an hour away. And it's actually a good thing that he's far because it gives us the opportunity to drive the truck and see what kind of bugs we've got as far as vibrations and check engine lights and shifting issues or anything like that. So we give it about a two hour road test by the time we're done at a minimum on the highway, just to see what's going on. So it works out really well. Have a look over here. So this is your carrier unit. This will give you heat and it'll give you cooling and your exhaust. Now I've got a code coming up on the dash. It says interlock, uh, engine interlock. Often that's a seized up alternator. So this unit I doubt is working. It is on the unit. We're not advertising it as a functioning unit. You're more than welcome to try to diagnose it yourself. We are not guaranteeing the function of that unit. Let's get the hood up here. Okay, so your Packard MX 13 liter, 455 horse. This is your latest generation engine. 
being the 2019, it's got all the updates. It's got the updated back pressure valve and EGR valve on here. Uh, those tended to be kind of sore points on the older generations, so that's an update here. Brand new steer, <coughs> excuse me, steering tire, spring front suspension. Have a look underneath here. You can see everything's nicely detailed as far as the paint job goes. Looks really nice. Uh, over here, can't tell if we've got HID lamps. No major body damage. I saw one scratch on the opposite side. I'll just quickly take you over. I don't know what it was. One little scratch right there is all I can see. A couple little minor scuffs here and there, but it's not a new truck, but it's certainly no major damage. Uh, another new tire, so we've got 10 new tires all around. Here we've got steering axle disc brakes. Uh, the drives are drums. I'm gonna get this oil filler cap in a minute off and get it running and let you have a look at the blow-by on this unit. Uh, have a look here. The truck's being sold with no check engine lights, no codes, no leaks, and ready to go to work with a fresh service and a fresh annual inspection certificate. Have a look here. You got the VIT interior. That's the top of the line. Genuine leather, Kenworth seat. Over here, we've got the button tuck. This is your giveaway, the button tuck on the VIT and the wood grain, power locks, mirrors, power windows, and heated mirrors. Okay, let's have a look here. So we've got 510,000 miles and a 13-speed manual transmission. Let's get it started up. Probably have to push the clutch down. There we go. Okay. So we'll let the uh, Kenworth Smart Nav do its thing and wake up. We've got redundant controls, obviously. We've got some push button controls here, soft controls, and we've got hard controls here, which I, I kind of like better. Uh, we'll put the cruise control on, get the idle up, so this is nice. You got the smart wheel here with leather. It seems to be kind of peeling in there. Maybe go in with a needle and thread and tighten it up. I'm gonna turn the radio down. Automatic climate control, just set it to there. Push auto, set your temperature. Okay, we got standard diff locks, suspension dump. Okay, now let's go through the rest of the inside of the truck. So we've got lots of covered space. I do like this feature on the 680 compared to say the, the older 579s. You've got this extra space up top here where normally on the 579 you'd have some sort of a crawl through about here and smash your head. So this is really a true condo sleeper as you want to call it that lots of room very wide this style come out 2014 so it's a newer feeling interior with lots of um, nice plastic surfaces that feel pretty good for a truck especially compared to a lot of the other trucks that are out in the market so you get lots of covered space now this one here and all the other ones that are just like it all have a single bed I'm gonna pan out here and give you a look so single bed probably not very easy to add Okay, so beware, single bed. And over here you've got, obviously this is gonna roll up um, into that little, the clips. There's a clip on the back side there. They're gonna clip into there. That's an emergency exit, or you can use it to open up and get, uh, put stuff inside. Uh, over here we've got a fridge. One of the nice features on the fridges in the Kenworth is it actually has an on off switch right here and it reminds you if you leave your truck that you left your fridge on i love that feature how many times have you come back to a dead battery and realize you left your fridge on okay inside of here we got good covered space we've got a clothes rack and this door works good important because this door if these little tabs break is a very expensive door Take a look here, you've got all nice, luxurious material. I'm not sure if it's leather, but it cert certainly feels real close to that. There's your APU unit. Let's have a quick look over here at it. So if I push APU on off, main engine interlock. Don't know what that means. Probably not good, but that is what it is. Over here, we've got a nice little spinner table flat screen television mount. We've got some drawers here. 
good working order. Actually, I'm going to slide this back because I want to get you a look underneath the bed. So obviously we've got a brand new mattress in a bag and shocks are working good. Okay, so we've got, we've got a, we've got a factory heating and air conditioning unit here. And then we've got your aftermarket APU here as well. And we've got the fourth access door here as well. So that's gonna give you interior and exterior access through that door. So there you have good good look at the interior. Now I wanna make you aware we have five units just like this. Uh, one is an automatic, four are manual. All of them are available at this point in time. So wanted to make you aware of that. And all of them, we have pricing for both Canada and USA, meaning that if you wanna buy this truck and you're in Buffalo or in, you're in the US, we'll ship the truck to you in Buffalo. And if you're in Canada, you can take delivery out of our yard in Cambridge. So let me, so let me get that idle up again. How did I do that? There we go. Okay. So take it down just a little bit. And I'm gonna get that oil filler cap off. I'm going to show you what kind of blow by we got going on this particular unit. Okay, and this one has the factory navigation. Let's see that that's working as well. Your trailer spike brake is here. It's good that these are working because these are also expensive when they break. So let's see here, come back out, address. The nice thing about the truck GPS, as most people probably know compared to say Google Maps, is it's gonna factor in truck routes and scales and things of that nature as opposed to Google Maps, we won't pick any of that up. So let's go out and have a listen to this thing running. So just in a quick summary, we've got obviously this particular unit with um, 10 new tires, 500 and some odd thousand miles on it, manual 13 speed Packard 455, and it's ready to go to work. It's in our yard in stock in Cambridge. Deliveries included to Buffalo, New York, if you're interested. And we have three other manuals and we have one auto. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put this back up here. Here's the truck, so let's see if I can get that on the video. There we go. Put that there. Done. And then once you have one done, the second one's way easier. There you have it. So that bumper's on secure. So there you have it. If you are interested in this truck or any other truck that we have, feel free to give us a call at 844-489-8789. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.